The war against the virus. How do we stop the spread? Very difficult situation. The coronavirus. Social distancing. Clearly more needs to be done. Have you wondered, how did this virus that's changing everything even get here in the first place? Most um, reporting and writing around epidemics starts when the outbreak occurs and people start dying and there's sort of this mystery of like, where did it come from and how is it spreading? That's Sonia Shaw, author of the book Pandemic, which tries to answer one simple question about the beginning of something like the coronavirus outbreak. Where do those microbes come from and how, what processes change them in ways that allow them to cause all of the death and disruption that we see from pandemics? I talked to Sonia on Skype about her book and what she'd learned studying other past outbreaks, Ebola in Africa, SARS in China, and Zika in the US. In those three cases, similar to this one, this terrible thing seemed to just, without warning, start. The broad reason for that is that humans are encroaching on wildlife habitat on a huge scale. Um, and when we do that, they cram into ever smaller and smaller fragments of habitat that remains, little patches. And those are more frequently close to where we live. That increases the probability that the microbes that live in their bodies will spill over into our bodies. Scientists haven't had a chance yet to scientifically confirm it, but in the short term, most agree COVID-19 came from bats. And Shaw says we could have had a heads up through a program called PREDICT. It was funded for about 10 years by the Agency for International Development and put scientists on the ground to search for microbes and try to detect if they were evolving. We don't know which microbe is gonna cause the next pandemic, but we do know how microbes turn into pandemic causing pathogens. So that means you can predict where it's most likely to happen. The scientists would create hotspot maps, which put the bullseye on places with problematic microbes. PREDICT found over a thousand new viruses, including one new strain of Ebola. The program was canceled under the Trump administration for budget reasons. That's a kind of silent, behind the scenes, public health work that you don't hear about. Of course, now the coronavirus is front and center and the book Pandemic is too, answering the question we're all curious about. How, out of nowhere, did this happen? So we're always gonna have infectious disease, but it's really our actions that allow path microbes to become pathogens, to spread between us. So they're really manufactured by us. And that is good news in the sense that it means we can do th something about them. There's a lot we can do to prevent pandemics from occurring entirely.